Hello guys, it's me again, Ammar, and I'm back with another video. Today's video is gonna be a bit different. I'm gonna try to install free NAS on this old machine that I found locally for 65 bucks. It has four cores, four threads, four gigabyte of RAM, and a 250 gigabyte hard disk. So I'm gonna try to expand this with my old hard drive that I have laying around and i'm gonna try to configure free nas as well so before we jump into the video don't forget to hit like subscribe to the channel and let's do this all right so the first thing we want to do is type rufus in google and then click the um, first link and then go a little bit down and download the rufus 3.10 i already downloaded it and second thing you want to do is download free nas iso so we're going to type free NAS and then go to first link, download free NAS. And we're going to skip all these three. We just scroll a little bit down and then click on the download page over here. All right. And now we're going to download the free NAS 11.3. And you can also see the full hardware requirement. It just need the... Um, 64 bit CPU and minimum of 8 gigs of RAM. In this video, I'm gonna use 4 gigs of RAM, but I will upgrade it later on down, like maybe after four or five days, I will upgrade to another two sticks of RAM. All right, so after we downloaded Rufus, um, we're gonna insert our USB stick. I got the 16 gigabyte stick and the minimum is 8 gigs. So I'm just gonna be on the safe side. I'm gonna use 16 gigs. I'm gonna choose my own um, USB stick, which is no label, disk three, 16 gigs. And then I'm gonna click on select and gonna put the ISO image for the free NAS, all right? And after that, I'm just gonna click start. It will show a warning sign that everything will be destroyed. It's fine, I'm gonna continue. It will take a little bit of time, maybe three, four minutes tops. All right, and now I'm just gonna close this. And now I'm gonna take my old USB stick and plug it in into my old PC that I bought. All right, and now I'm in the uh, boot menu screen and I'm gonna choose my Toshiba USB stick and I will fast forward the video. All right, now I'm gonna choose install and upgrade. And I will choose my A data SSD by clicking space and then go all the way down to okay. And it will show a warning because I already installed it, but I'm gonna do a fresh install. And now I'm gonna format the boot drive. And now it shows a warning that everything will be deleted. I'm fine. So, and now I'm typing a password, easy password to remember. And of course boot via BIOS because I got old hardware. And that's basically it. All I did now is I typed one to enter the configure network interfaces and then I clicked again on one of course no and another no because I don't want my IP to keep on changing 
and now I'm gonna configure the um, IPv4 and now I'm gonna type my IP address and it will ask me for the subnet mask which is 255.255.255.0 and now I'm gonna go to my other computer and type the IP address that I assigned to my browser and it should take me to the UI alright so after installing FreeNAS to my um, SSD um, this is the UI alright I'll show you the very first thing alright so now I'm gonna type root and I'm gonna type my own password oops alright so after logging in over here first thing you want to do is go to account and create a user alright and I'm gonna name this user as me Amar alright both and I'm gonna set a password as well I'm gonna tick this thing new primary group and just save that and just this all right save never and as we can see we already have a group as well as our username all right so first thing we want to do is go to storage oh and by the way you can go to system general and uh, no not general you can go to network global configuration you can name your NAS box anything you want so this host name will be appearing in your network in Windows alright anyways we're gonna go to storage and to pools alright we have no pools set yet so I'm gonna add pool create new pool and then I'm gonna name this one as backup all right move it over there and let's see yeah let's create this confirm create pool we're gonna wait a few minutes I guess oh no that was quick all right let's go to pools again add create new pool and I'm gonna make this one as my yeah I'm gonna um, create and it should allow me to create now yep and it should take you all right and now I'm gonna create another pool and gonna move this over there and gonna name it as um, projects for example and hit those create confirm create pool all right and now we already got our pools but yet we cannot like see it over here like if I type the um, what they call it uh, 192 oh, backslash backslash see it's empty I cannot see anything over here even though I already got them set up over there but still we have some more settings to do anyways first thing we want to do is go to these three dots over here add data set and we're gonna name it Windows backup and share type we're gonna make it SMB all right all right, and we're gonna do the same for this one. All right, so click the three dots, add data set, and we're gonna name it um, edited project projects, and we're gonna make it SMB as well. And for the last one, we're gonna add data set, and we're gonna name this movies oops movies and music for example I'm gonna change it to SMB save and under and we're gonna go to the Windows backup here and we're gonna edit permissions all right 
and remember the username that we created here the user and the group so we're gonna so under who in the access list control we're gonna pick user and on user here i'm gonna pick my own name which is my user that i set and after that um i already have full control over here you can edit this if you want but i want to have full control over my nas so i'll keep this as is anyways i'm gonna click on save and now i'm gonna do the same for the edited project so edit access control list user change user to my name and full control and then save and i'm gonna do you guessed it the same thing to movies and music all right user pick my name and basically i want to have full control all right and i'm gonna save that and now i'm gonna go to sharing i'm gonna go to smb which is windows share and i'm gonna add so if it shows like this without any folder or path you can click here and drop this down and drop backup down as well and click on windows backup acl and then click on save and already we got one and we got the same permissions and we're gonna do the same for the sharing i'm gonna add as well i'm gonna change the path to project to edited project i'm gonna name it edit it oh projects all right i'm gonna save that boom over there and you guessed it i'm gonna do the third one movies and music i'm gonna name it movies and music and okay and now i'm gonna save it as well all right now we got the three of them and yeah let's see if it's available over there or not all right so let's see share no services i'm gonna turn it off real quick sometimes you have to turn it off and on all right and now let's see backslash backslash 192 one, all right so it's here and i can add stuffs over here i can delete stuffs go back over here the same thing i can type anything here i can delete anything here as well um let's see yeah windows backup okay um it is the project i can oh we don't have permission for edited projects all right let's see okay let's see sharing over here this one this one i cannot share yeah that's why i cannot share it user gonna change it to me allow i'm gonna go to basic and have full control and i'm gonna save it wait let's see ah inherit all right and now it should work yep it's working anyway so you saw the issue that i couldn't edit anything in this edited project so the thing was is the acl the thing is i didn't give permission for um i didn't give permission for me basically <laughs> so anyways i'm gonna map it as yeah i'm gonna gonna sign in yep and then i'm gonna do the same 
Um, backslash, backslash. I'm gonna map them all, basically. Right click, map network device, reconnect at sign in. Should be fine, I mean. And then, let's see. Um, yep, over here. Those backup. Um, mark, map. Right. And now, I already got them all. I didn't go through a lot with Freenas, so it's my first time doing it. I just googled some stuff. I just did some research about it. Basically, it's have to it has to do with the users and groups, and then basically you're gonna add data set, and then you're gonna put it as SMB, which is Windows Share, and then you're gonna go to Sharing to SMB, and you're gonna do everything like I did and hopefully it will be working just fine for you so before we end this video don't forget to hit like subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one